Good morning, guys. I miss you all so much. So I was hoping that maybe I could record some songs, stories, and teach you a little bit of sign language. Um, at least maybe then uh, you can see me and we can get together a little bit on, uh, on video. So today I'm going to do a couple songs with you. Just like when I'm singing with you in class, you guys can do the hand motions and sing along with me, okay? I know one of your favorite ones that we tend to do a lot is the wheels on the bus. So let's do that one together. Are you ready? Sing with me. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The door on the bus goes open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The door on the bus goes open and shut all through the town. The children on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The children on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The wipers on the bus go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The wipers on the bus go back and forth all through the town. The babies on the bus go where, 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 where. The babies on the bus go where, 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 all through the town. The parents on the bus go shh, 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 shh. The parents on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. Good job! All right, let's do another one. Um, I know you guys like Old MacDonald had a farm, so we're going to do that one today. Are you ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a, what should we do? How about a horse? He had a horse, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay-nay here and a nay-nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay-nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a coat. Not a coat, a goat. On that farm he had a goat, E-I-E-I-O, with a mama here and a mama there, here ma there ma everywhere mama. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Hmm, what else can we use? A cat maybe? Okay, let's do that. And on that farm he had a cat. E-I-E-I-O, with a meow meow here and a meow meow there, here meow, there meow, everywhere meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O, with a woof woof here and a woof woof there, here a woof there, a woof everywhere, a woof woof. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, can you think of any more farm animals? Let's see, how about a sheep? Yes, he had a sheep. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there, here ba there ba, everywhere ba-ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. I think that's it for now. Maybe next week we can think of some more animals, but that, that sounds good. All right, so let's do one more song. I know you guys like to do If You're Happy and You Know It. Are you ready? We'll do this one together. All right, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. 
If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray! Ready to do all three? All right. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! Good job, guys! All right, so we're going to read a couple stories today. And the first one we're going to do is the cat in the hat. Now, I know before we left for spring break, you guys were doing Dr. Seuss Day, and you probably read a lot of these stories, but I love this one. So we're going to do... The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too, and I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house. We did nothing at all. So all we could do was to sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it, not one little bit. And then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. We looked, then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny. But we can have lots of good fun. That is funny. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell the cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Now, now, have no fear. Have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of good fun if you wish with a game that I call up, up, up with a fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book on one hand and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. Look at me, look at me now, said the cat. With a cup and a cake on the top of my hat, I can hold up two books. I can hold up the fish and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball. But that is not all. Oh, no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It's fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold the toy ship and a little toy man. And look, with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball. But that is not all. Oh, no, that is not all. That is what the cat said. And then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh, no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this. Look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent our new rake. 
You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out. And then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box. A big red wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the book. You will see something new. Two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one, and they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? What do you think? And Sally and I did not know what to do, so we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, no, no, those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame, oh, so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Now here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a the house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump. Oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump down the wall in the hall. Oh, my. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw Mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If Mother could see this, oh, what would she say? And our fish said, look, look. And our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find it this way. So do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her, your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net and I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net. It came down with a plop, and I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I said. You pack up those things, and you take them away. Oh, dear, said the cat. You did not like our game. Oh, dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Then he shut up the things in the box with the hook, and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away, yes. But your mother will come. She will find this big mess. And this mess is so big and so deep and so tall, we cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. And then, who was back in the house? Why, the cat. Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so... I will show you another good trick that I know. 
Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the book and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. And he put them away and he said, that is that. And then he was gone with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? The end. I like that story. You guys wanna hear another story? We'll do one more story today. All right, we're going to read, we're going on a bear hunt, but you have to do all the motions with me. You guys can read the story with me, okay? So we're going on a bear hunt. The author is Michael Rosen. You remember the author is a person that writes the words of the, of the book. And the illustrator, the person who draws the pictures, is Helen Oxenberry. So are you ready to go on a bear hunt? Okay. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, grass. Long, wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We'll have to go through it. Ready? Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a river. A deep, cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We'll have to go through it. Splish, splosh. Splish, splosh. Splish, splosh. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We are not scared. Uh-oh, mud. Thick, oozy mud. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We'll have to go through it. Squelch, squirch. Squelch, squirch. Squelch, squirch. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We are not scared. Uh-oh, a forest. A big, dark forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We'll have to go through it. Are you ready to go through the forest? Stumble trip. Stumble trip. Stumble trip. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We are not scared. Uh-oh, a snowstorm, a swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no, we'll have to go through it. Ready to go through it? We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. Oh no, a cave, a narrow gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we'll have to go through it. Be very careful. Tiptoe, tiptoe. Tiptoe, what's that? One shiny wet nose, two big furry ears, two big googly eyes, it's a bear! Quick, back through the cave, tiptoe, 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 back to the snowstorm, hoo, woo, hoo, woo, hoo, woo, back to the forest, stumble trip, stumble trip, stumble trip, back to the mud, squelch, squirch, squelch, squirch, back to the river, splash, 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 back through the grass, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, Get to our front door, open up the door, up the stairs. Oh no, 
We forgot to shut the door. Go back down the stairs. Shut the door. Back up the stairs. Into the bedroom. Into bed. Get under the covers. Hurry. We are not going on a bear hunt ever again. Ugh. But we made it. So that's a good thing. All right. So one last thing before we go. I thought that... I would do a little bit of sign language with you guys when I meet up with you each week. And uh, so today I'm just going to do some colors. Now, I want to show you, remember that when we're doing sign language, the reason that people sometimes talk in sign language are because if people can't hear, this is a good way for them to be able to communicate. And so some of the things that we're going to talk about today have to do with colors. So can you guys sign with me? This is colors. All right, and we're going to do just a few before we go. And so we're going to do the color red. Sometimes you can make, this is the letter R in sign language. And sometimes people will do this on their lips, red. And sometimes they will just do this with one finger. But either way, this is red. Can you guys do it with me? Red. Very good. All right, very similar to red is pink. And what you can also do is this is the, the letter for P. You just turn these two fingers like this. Turn them upside down. Put your thumb there. This is called P. And you can put that on your, on your lips. And this is called pink. This is the color pink. All right. Now, there is blue. If you want to do blue, you can make a B. This is the letter B in sign language. And you just shake it. Blue. Can you do it with me? Blue. Good. All right, how about green? If we make the letter G, you take your two fingers, see my two fingers, and you just turn them sideways, and you just shake it. This is green. Green. All right. How about if we do brown? Brown, you have a B again, just like in blue, but you put it on the side of your face. Brown. Do it with me. Brown. Good job. Now, how about if we do black? Black is like it's going across your eyebrows and you just take one finger and you bring it across. This is called black. Black. Nice. All right. How about if we do yellow? Now, if you do yellow, you're going to make the letter Y. Put these three fingers down. This is the letter Y in sign language and you just shake it. Yellow. Yellow. Okay, orange, you're going to make an O, sort of like an O, but you can actually, you're just going to squeeze orange. Actually, make sure you do it up here by your mouth because this is orange and this is milk. <laughs> so if you want orange, the color orange, it needs to be close to your face. Orange, orange, okay? And, oh, purple. I should do purple. That's my favorite color. It's a P again, just like pink, but you just shake it out here. Purple, purple. All right, um, white is here at your chest. You just make, you just take your hands and you just kind of bring it out like this. White, white. And then two more colors. Um, I will do silver and gold. Now silver is like if you touch your ear, like you're touching your earring, you put touch your ear and shake an S. This is silver and gold is the same thing except for you do your your ear to a Y. This is gold, because gold is usually a yellow color. So you have silver and you have gold. Silver and gold. Well, that's about it for right now. I hope you guys had fun today. Um, all of your teachers are telling me what a beautiful job you guys are doing on your work. I really wish we were here together because I miss you guys so much, but I'm very proud of you. Keep up the good work, and I will check back in with you next week uh, with some more stories, songs, and signs with Mrs. Price. Love you guys. Bye-bye.